Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, getting out here to this reservoir this afternoon to hopefully catch a catfish or two. Uh, I was out here about a couple weeks ago and we had just gotten a lot of rain and the fishing was horrible. So uh, hoping this time I can at least catch a couple. And the plan is to do a little catch, clean, and cook for y'all uh, with some catfish. Uh, I was lucky enough to catch a few the last time I was out here. It was a really fun time. And I'm hoping I can uh, replicate that this time. Uh, just planning on keeping one or two, uh, making a little snack out of it. So getting down here to the, the boat dock and going to get the kayak out there and get out to my honey hole and hopefully we can uh, start slaying some catfish here in a minute. Start off by throwing this crankbait. Worked last time, should work this time. See how it goes. Well, wasn't recording, but got a little smally. Little, little. Didn't get the bite on film, that's my bad. <laughs> but hopefully there's more to come. Feels like a catfish. Definitely feels like a catfish. Come on baby, stay on. Swimming right towards me. Yes, sir. That's a keeper for sure. Keeper for sure. Come on, stay on. Yes, sir. That's a beautiful one. Perfect keeper. That's what I'm after today. Hell yeah, that's. I've probably been here like 15, 20 minutes. Beautiful channel catfish. I got the stringer with me, so I'm gonna string them up here and uh, get back with you in a minute. Well, I might not need a stringer. Obviously, there's a lot of these big rocks out here in these rapids, and I don't know where these holes came from, but there's these varying in size. There's these almost perfect perfectly circular holes in these rocks. This one here is about a foot deep right where I caught them and it almost serves as a perfect live well. I don't see any way this catfish is going to get out of here so uh, I think I'm just going to get them off the line here and keep casting and leave them in here. He should be able to get out. Just so you guys get a better look at him. He's probably about 14 to 16 inches, maybe two or three pounds. Just a perfect eater. Really excited to see how this guy turns out, but again, probably just gonna leave him in this little hole and uh, keep on fishing for the rest of the evening. All right, already a successful trip. Uh, got something for the table. Just gonna keep casting here in my little honey hole spot and. Maybe get one more. Either way, I'm gonna fish the rest of the evening. Maybe switch over to targeting some smallies. I've got one smallie and one catfish for the day, so I'm loving it right now. Oh, just missed one. Damn, just missed one on the top. That felt like a catfish. Catfish hit so much heavier. Typically a small mouth is a very like, oh yeah, hit it the second time. That's definitely a catfish. Oh my God, that's a good one. Real good one. Really good one. 
Oh yeah. That's a great one. I don't know if I'll keep this one. This one's pretty big. <laughs> wow. That's... And he's gone. Damn, I wanted to hold him up. That was one of the bigger catfish I've ever gotten out of here. I'm kind of glad I didn't recover him. He was a little big to keep and I would have been pretty torn on keeping him or not, but wow, that was fun. Gotta get back out there, keep catching these suckers. Well, I had a little bit of a rain shower move in. Luckily, it's, it's a pretty light rain and it doesn't look like it's gonna be hanging out too long. So just gonna wait it out here under this tree and get back out there and cast a few more times. Uh, probably not gonna stay all night. Uh, get out of here before dark for sure. So I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna keep my eye on the weather app and uh, hopefully I can keep fishing. There's a catfish. Nailed it. Yes, sir. Get over that rock. Get over that rock. Got me good. It's a pretty good one. Hold on to him, too. Got him back to my little live well. This is a really nice sized one. Again, I'm not looking to keep more than two. The beauty of this is that if I end up catching one a little smaller than this guy, I might throw him back. I'm not looking for big, big ones. This one's probably a little bit on the larger side, but since I only got two in the well so far, I'm just gonna keep them. So going in the water. And that thing works great. <laughs> Smally. Smally on. He hit pretty hard. Little oh, buddy. Pretty good one. Beautiful fish, wow. Look at that. Just a beautiful fish. I'm glad I could catch at least a couple of these two today. I love catching smallmouth. Yeah. Probably do a couple more casts and uh, close up shop, head back to the boat ramp and get back home for, uh, for some dinner. All right, last cast and I'm heading out. Oh, 
on the last cast. Good one too. That never happens. <laughs> yes, sir. Another really nice one. It's a really nice one. I might swap this with that last one I caught. Check it out. Almost identical. I'm gonna throw this one back. Always gotta throw one back, right? Have a good life, buddy. Get out of here. That's gonna do it for me today. Head back to the boat ramp. I'll wrap things up on the way. All right, everyone, back in the kayak, heading towards the boat ramp now. This will close out the river portion of this video. I've got my stringer of nice eaters, a couple of channel cats. Exactly what I was looking for when I came out here. Like I said, heading back to the boat ramp, should be there in a few minutes. Can't wait to get into the kitchen and prep these guys up. I know they're going to be delicious and I'll uh, bring you guys along for that. So I'll see you from the kitchen. All right, guys, made it to the kitchen here. It's the next day. Last night, got home, cleaned up those catfish real quick and got them straight into this buttermilk and hot sauce brine. Uh, it's about two cups of buttermilk and one cup of hot sauce in it. It smells pretty good. So we're going to bread these up, get them in some flour and then throw them right into the grease. We should be eating some crispy catfish in no time. For the flour mixture, I took a tub, added about two cups of flour, and then about two tablespoons of Old Bay seasoning, and took a fork and mixed it together best I could. Then I took the fillets directly out of the hot sauce and buttermilk brine, added them all into that tub, threw the top on it, and then shook it as best I could, trying to get that flour mixture completely covering the fillets. Once I was pretty sure they were covered, I took them out and set them aside for a couple minutes just to let that flour mixture adhere to the fillets, then threw them right into some hot grease. I left them in about three to five minutes per side, uh, obviously just turning them, trying to get that beautiful golden brown look and just crazy crispiness. After a few minutes, I plated them, topped them with some parsley, and they were ready to eat. Alright guys, finally got it out of the grease here. It's smelling really good. Can't wait to try it. Uh, got a little side of ranch here. Dunk. Mm. Yeah, that hot sauce kind of hides in there, but you can still taste it. And it's just, just delicious. So I'm gonna enjoy eating the rest of this. Uh, as many of you know, hunting season's coming up. So I'm really gearing into the deer season. A lot of my plans and videos coming in the future will be all around deer season. I just can't wait. But until then, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.